Hello, and welcome back to another CST video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the um, Huron class solar, or uh, actually, uh, you guys already know because by the time I upload it. Uh, but we do have exciting news to talk about as we build this solar related ship. Uh, and the plan for the videos are to do solar, and then we're going to do flat out. Oh, we already did solar recently, too. <laughs> Uh, so let me figure out what ship we're gonna do real quick, AFK. Alright, so we're gonna probably do a Solar Raven class, most likely. Um, so, let's do this one. Um, so, we have new updates from Haggy. Um, he's talking about, oh yeah, this was a Solar Pelican. Uh, Oh yeah, it's the tutorial I uploaded yesterday. So this was that ship. Um, I do like it though. So we're gonna do the Raven. Um, but we do have new news from Haggy that I will go over. Uh, so Haggy's going on a 10 day cruise. So no updates for a bit. Uh, however, uh, we do have confirmation that he's been working on CST like actively. He hasn't just been working RT2 only. Uh, but we also do have one thing that um, to note too. Uh, Titanic ship is almost done. Alan Z is planning to release photos s soon. Well, I don't know if it's almost done, but Alan Z said he would put photos up soon. Uh, and then Haggy said that um, for fleet, it won't be this update. Most, I mean, probably depending how long it takes. But he said that fleets will most likely take him two weeks to script. And then he'll have to figure, and then he'll spend like, it'll be like autopilot where we won't get much content, it'll just be bugs to improve the actual uh, platform. Now we might get like a few things, I mean, but like it would be bug fixing again, like, um, uh, with autopilot. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's a good thing because that means if we do get fleets, that'll be a more funner game experience, I think. Um, so. Let's go over something. So that's Taggy about the Titanic ship, because I was kind of, well, we started talking about it. Uh, but then I asked him if it's, like, is it going to be a game pass or no? So I was talking to him in the Discord with everyone, well, not everyone else, just Bloop is kind of there. Uh, so he said that um, Titanic uh, looking ship will be a game pass. Um, I did ask. I'm like, will the Titanic ship be a game pass? And he's like, yes, it will. Or, uh, let me quote-unquote, uh, quote-unquote, yeah, ha. Huh. That was the quote on, that like, that's quote-unquote, yeah, ha. Huh. Uh, so, Titanic ship will be a game pass. Uh, not the worst thing in the world, though, because it'll be worth it. I mean, Cormorant, we paid 250 Robux for that, and that is the best ship. That is if you have Alpha, but, like, that's what I mean by we. Uh, but Cormorant is a really nice ship, um... So I do think it'll be worth it, depending on the pricing. I did not ask the pricing, because I'm just glad he told us and, like, cleared up if it's going to be a Game Pass ship or, um, and he probably doesn't have the pricing in, because he has to see how many tiles it has and, like, how big it is. Um, oh, I should, when he was here, I should have asked him how wide it is, too, because I think it would have been nice to know how wide the Titanic ship will be. Uh, because then you can kind of like start planning what you're gonna put on it. I'm definitely gonna buy it I, uh, If it's under 450 robux, I'm definitely gonna buy it right away. I will buy it But like I don't know how long I'll have to wait to do that uh, So um, so since he's going on a cruise for 10 days, there will not be any CST progress Getting done. However, the good thing is Alan Z is gonna prop most likely work on the Titanic while Haggy's gone Because uh, when Haggy was gone last time Alan Z made a uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, he made, uh, the outdoor stairs. Um, so, and he's most likely going to work on Titanic while Haggy's gone. So, like, hopeful, the hope is that when Haggy gets back, Alan Z will be finished with Titanic, and then they'll add the Titanic ship. Uh, but it sounds like this update's going to include the Titanic ship, um, and it's going to include the ice rink. Uh, ice rink, we know for sure. Titanic ship most likely because um, They just keep saying that it's like that's what Haggy said. That's what they're waiting for to do in the next update uh, So he's just waiting for Alan Z to add that So we'll see we'll see So that's exciting news um, 
So we're just gonna add batteries in the hole. hole. And then right here. Uh, and, oh, we have way too much supplies, but for the kids that complain about low fuel and low storage, here you go. <laughs> uh, so, low storage, actually, you can't really have low storage. The thing is, okay, here, let's reconnect. Uh, the big thing is with quote-unquote low storage is it's more of you prefer more storage, but you don't necessarily need more storage. So, yeah, let's continue here. Um, yeah, so that's exciting news for Cruise Ship Tycoon. Um, I think they finished the arcade, so we might get the arcade and a few more buildable objects, but I'm not sure on that one. Uh, but we'll definitely get the Titanic ship, and, um, uh, we'll definitely get the Titanic ship. Uh, oh, now I gotta redo this whole thing real quick, okay. Uh, oh, that sucks. Um, okay. So, we'll redo it anyway. Uh, so we're just gonna do the flooring first. Uh, I hope this stuff up here saved. Yeah, that all saved. Okay. Uh, so the big exciting thing is this. We know Haggy's working on the game. Uh, and the ex other exciting thing is we know Titanic. Uh, whether it's gonna be a game pass or whether it's gonna be a, um... Uh, so... The right side is, since Titanic will be a Game Pass ship, it'll be more ex inclusive, I guess. It won't be overused. But even if you was, I, it was, for fleets, it's probably going to be like, well, no, it probably won't be overpriced, because since it's a Game Pass, I mean, there's no point to overprice it then. Uh, so, for rooms, this is going to be our room deck. But, here's the thing you got to remember. Um, the pool. If we're going to do a pool, it's got to be, oh... Shoot. Alright, let's just kind of remove those. And let's see if that will center. Will it? It does. Okay. Uh, we can do wider, but I don't know how much longer. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, the I was going to say, I don't know how much longer we can actually make the pool. Uh, so the exciting thing is, um, we'll get a CST update soon, and uh, we know... Uh, the two, uh, uh, well, we know we're definitely getting the ice rink and the Titanic ship, so that's an exciting, uh, thing to know, I guess, so. Alright, so, let's continue here, um, and I will put on CST music.
I think Haggy should have put some form of, uh, some form of, uh, tiles there, but probably a lazy net. Like, just, in the, like, yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, from Alan Z or whatever. Alright, let's continue. So we're gonna build the room, uh, the two crew rooms, just in case that for in the future, if this tutorial is outdated, and they add like, uh, um, like fleets, or uh, not fleets, uh, when they have more crew, that you can fit them in here in this current ship design. Uh, now it might be a little outdated, but again, you can always go custom and get rid of a few things and uh, to make room for more stuff. So let's continue this ship. As a reminder for this, um, if you need, if you already have maintenance, but we don't have any engines, so I don't think a ship with just batteries would need maintenance. But I could be wrong. Uh, just um, delete these, a uh, row of these, and then just go down here and delete these two, and that will make the ship compatible for that. But honestly, if you just do these batteries, you probably won't even need maintenance for uh, the ship. I don't, I don't think you will, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so let's continue. Well, I forgot to mention I bought a Haggy toy, because Haggy's like, I'm like, should I buy a Haggy toy? And he's like, sure. And it came today, and I got like a copper tin pot for a toy. Which I don't buy toys, but like, you know, a Haggy toy wouldn't be bad to um, have it sitting uh, by the pedestal of one of my monitors. So I have it standing by one of the pedestals of my monitors. So, there's always a Haggy. No, I do have the toy. It's a nice little toy. I had to buy that new bit. But I, did, I put in the. Um, uh, I don't know if I have that animation on. Oh, yeah. I put it in this stage. Where when it does the like arm thing, it starts like oh, That's what I put it Or at least right. Alright, uh, let's continue in there. So 
So let's put the rooms in and see how, uh, how many rooms we have. Uh, we might be able to fit a few more up here and around the ship, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, let's continue that. Oh, also we probably might try to get like a few balconies maybe on the top, we'll see. Yeah, so we just made a nice little uh, seating area, I should say. Just like a little nice lobby area. So, like, no, we're not gonna do that. Just because I'm like, well, maybe we could. No, we're not gonna do that. But, uh, yeah, this is a new Raven concept. Mm -hmm. that we're gonna try. Yeah, okay, so let me explain here. Uh, how do I turn this up here? Alright, um, so I thought I would kind of change up the tutorials a bit. You can pro you probably noticed um, with the way I've designed, because uh, like if you look at past Raven tutorial, you can see differences. I mean, that's a new concept on my Raven designs. Uh, I don't, I've never done it like that. Uh, the bridge, I never do it like that either. Um, these, I don't do it like that either, uh, ever. Um, I also don't do an indoor pool most of the time. Um, yeah. Oh, and I ha I've never done something like that before on the Raven. So it's just, I thought I would change up the way uh, and style I designed the ship. Uh, but you, this ship's more of an alpha ship. This is how uh, we designed the Raven back in um, alpha days, uh, you could say. Um, we made it really compact, we made it make the most money we can, and yeah, it was a nice way to, it's a fun ship. Uh, I will say this, though, if you're playing with a bigger ship, and then you go to a small ship, your small ship skills may be rusty. I think Next Level said he hasn't used a Huron in, like, seven year, uh, months, not seven years, like a few months, a uh, decent amount of months. Uh, but, like, since I do tutorials, I mean, I've, and, oh, the locker room concept. I've never done anything like that either. So the whole, I'm just trying to change up. Um, my main goal for the next tutorials we do is to change up the style of the ship compared to the old tutorials. Something that makes it more interesting. So what I'll do is I'll uh, in the I'll name this video uh, new style ship, uh, new style uh, new ship, uh, no, uh, new ship con uh, design concept. I'll do that, and then I'll do crew, uh, Solar Raven, to, uh, no, yeah, I'll just do Solar Raven tutorial, and then parentheses, new, um, yeah, alright, yep, let's continue.
So this is also a new design concept back here. I haven't done uh, tables in a bar back here. Uh, normally I'll put like batteries and stuff. So as I said, we're just going to try and change up the ship designs in these solar tutorials. And we'll just kind of, every uh, time now we do a tutorial, I want to do something unique and original every time. Something different. We might carry a few concepts over, but I want to like put something new that I don't uh, haven't put on another ship before. So let's continue. So same thing, this is also a new design back here. Uh, I'm just, as I said, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, try to add new features to these ships that we haven't done before, just to make it different and more unique so it's not repetitive, because then at that point, why would I even make a tutorial? Because then it's just the same thing over and over. So let's continue and uh, yeah. This is also a newer design, um, I've never done, like, all three restaurants on a raven, like, just like this, in a, 
like buffet food court style. So if you think about this, it, more of a buffet slash food court uh, deal. Uh, we do have enough uh, seating for the passengers and access. So my main idea, I know it most likely won't work since um, we're not able to use this in that deck. But I'm hoping that this deck alone would be sustainable for all the passengers. Because then we can add like three or four balcony rooms up here, you know? So let's test. Uh, we'll give it a test. Um, I do have supplies, but let's see how much everything carries. Okay. And I want to test the ratings too, so I know what. We'll, I know it's probably gonna need fixing. Uh, but oh, also let's hire a crew too. Um, so yeah. All right, so it seems like the good news is, yeah, the ship is sustainable off of one deck. See, that's the thing I always get at, though. I'm that type of person who is, is like, well, you can only have one deck of rooms because you need two decks, but you don't. That's the thing. Uh, let's check. Wow, decoration, five stars. Basic needs, almost four. Uh, so, if we had a bathroom on this deck, we should be able to handle it. Uh, I mean, get the rest of our need, uh, ratings, I should say. Um, I don't know if we should add that many. Mm. Let's just add three, um, because I don't want to over jam it, but a bit of extra money wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Uh, so we're going to delete. So we're going to do a fake balcony concept again. Um, and what that is is it's where you essentially are creating fake balconies to make it look like yeah my ship is big and I have dual sided rooms even though we don't um and we're also gonna make it like normal uh this is how the game's supposed to do it so when I make fake balconies I do it this way uh sometimes on smaller ships like this but this was actually how the original balcony doors were you had the balcony door over there and you had it like that uh, but for some reason, I don't know what happened, uh, but when you place it, it does this, like, inverse stuff. But, uh, let's fix it. Yeah, this is how the original balconies looked before the building tool thing broke them. You see how it's nice and, uh, small, uh, type thing. I was gonna ask Haggy if he knows about that bug, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we can just change it out manually. But you see, this is one layer popped out, and that's one layer. When you have it like this, well, the problem is that won't work because this when this has to open and then slide back. This can't slide anywhere if you have it like that. All I can do is slide into the wall. So, yeah, technically speaking, this was the original balcony uh, designs for that. Uh, so, since we only have a small amount of balconies, I think we can handle it. Um, but, uh, again... Uh, yeah. Now, I do definitely know the restaurants can handle these extra passengers, however, I do not know if the uh, crowdedness, uh, basic needs, I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, as I said, yeah, uh, let's check entertainment. Oh yeah, see entertainment, what about? Okay, uh, command and movie theater? Imagine adding a movie theater, or well, just imagine. I know we're gonna add a movie theater, I think. We'll add it. Uh, oh, it has to go right there. Oh, no. Okay, uh, so we're gonna actually have to modify the movie theater a bit. And actually, I'm gonna turn off the music while we talk so it's not an echoing background noise. Uh, so we're going to put the. I know it looks funny and off centered, but uh, that's the only way we can fit it. And, and um. Decoration rating probably went down a bit. Well, this was pointless to even make it look like you can go outside, uh, since you can't go outside now. But, on the bright side, why would you? I mean, come on. I don't know why you need to go out there. 
Uh, but again, we're gonna add some extra battery since I don't think I think we need. Uh, I want to get to five since we're almost there. Uh, now I'm hoping the movie theater can help keep sustainability on the balcony rooms. Uh, but it's, it's hard to say. Um, however, it looks like they're enjoying it. So has the is it potentially that? Yeah, entertainment hit the five star mark, or like four point nine 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 uh, mark. So that's good. Uh, and we're also gonna do something since we can't actually go out here. We're gonna make this look nicer. What we're gonna do is we're essentially just gonna put um, three tiles of carpet down there, just so it looks more unique. Uh, just so it matches the other sides. I mean, so. Yeah, this is sustainable. We got four stars. We got three balcony rooms. I know it's not a lot, but we don't need a lot. We can't really fit a lot on the ship either. Uh, so now we're gonna, um, again, we're just gonna add two more batteries, uh, cause, or oh, actually just one more, uh, there. Uh, but the big key with Raven is to maximize space. Example, when you have these two sp uh, stud sp spots and you're doing solar, put a battery in there because you're gonna get more travel time. See, now we have five point, we went from 4.85 with like mainly just engine room, but now we were able to add an extra like five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we were able to add an extra 13 batteries in total. Uh, that's almost a megawatt, but not really. Um, so yeah. Okay, that's not really efficient. Uh, so we're gonna put the uh, tight, I mean not tight, we're gonna put the golden albatross up here. Uh, mm, I mean that's the only place it's gonna go, so yeah, I guess they're just gonna have to, well, I see, I would put it there, but I don't know what we should do for basic needs. Because we can't put it like that. But if we did do it like this, they can walk out the side. Yeah, so we'll just have the crew go out through the bathroom. Um, we'll just make it like a, a like, I don't know. So the crew will just walk through the bathroom. Uh, so that'll be fine. Since we only have like six, crew. we only we don't even have that much crew. That's what's funny, because really. We only have five crew. Most of them are either sharing a room, but like if all four are sharing your, so there's like three in one room and two in one room, or four in one room and three in the other. I mean, I mean, yeah, four in one and one in the other. Yeah, vice versa. Uh, okay. Um, should add another couch. I don't see benches as an indoor thing. Uh, personally speaking, I don't. I just. I don't think benches are designed. Uh, for indoors, uh, most of the time they aren't, so. Okitaka, well, that is the... Alright, that is our Raven class ship. Uh, we do over four stars, so we met our goal. Um, and actually, it's really, I'm proud of our ship, because here's the thing you gotta remember. We, we lost... We lost this deck, so we don't even have that deck. We don't, uh, and so we're going off of, yeah, we're just doing a three deck shit. I mean, uh, and we got some balcony rooms, and you know, and it feels nice and cozy. Now, one thing I will say that's different is um, there's a lot of new, unique features that I haven't done on other ships. So that's something that uh, I'm glad to see is actually helping the rating out a bit. Uh, it looks like we have like a four. I, that's more. Of a, it's probably gonna round to four. Uh, oh. Oh my god, I love that that counts as 4.1. So what that means is we're going to get a little more money uh, from the rating than first four star. Uh, versus a four star ship, even though it's like four with like that little tick mark. Uh, so, yeah, our ship is looking nice. Um, so yeah, you can, see the con you can see how we made the ship compact. Uh, and it's actually impressive. I say we only have one deck of living space, but... For say we have this deck because by the time you take the stuff on the back um, and that no no this is the stuff in the back in here you would pretty much have so we technically have like 1.75 decks of 
entertainment slash food, and we were able to do that. Um, so it's just nice that we're able to have a um, Raven Substandable with like, since we tech, well, it's not really two floors of rooms. So no, actually, we don't have two floors of rooms. But yeah, so that is our Raven class ship. Uh, I will take a photo, oh, actually, no, let's paint it first. Uh, I'm gonna paint it my traditional, uh, and then this is gonna be that, oh wait, no. Uh, I need to make the sheets darker. Uh, indoor or secondary. Does it ultimately matter? There we go. I want to get that. Uh, okay. Uh, let's take a photo. I think the bridge is this way. Yep. Yeah, uh, we're just going to hide the other ships for this photo. Also gonna center myself better too. Okay, well, let's take it from this side. I don't usually do this side. So that's, we're gonna, I already just made a name for the tutorial, uh, so what is, go ahead and name ship, we're gonna name it, mm. oh, what is that, Venture BS for NASA, it means Bahamas, okay, uh, okay, do we have routes, yes we do. We're not gonna do that route. Let's do the city route. Uh, I should have saved all the stuff that I was gonna talk about till the end, because now we have nothing to talk about. So, uh, but we can probably think of something. So you know what would be fun? Wait, did they ship just dock here? Wait, that's a bug, isn't it? I think that that that's a big bug. Uh, it didn't last time. Raven wasn't able to dock there, but I guess it is now. Wait, let's test this. Oh my god, no way. We found a bug in the game. Alright, I'm gonna report that to Haggy. Uh, yo, that's actually a sick bug. Uh, I'm not gonna report that to Haggy. <laughs> oh shoot, what is this ship doing? Okay. See, because if you do request tag, it's just going to take you to that one. So, is it a bug? Well, it's not. Honestly, I don't think it matters, and I hope Haggy doesn't patch it. See, but that's amazing. That is amazing. So, I hope he does I Honestly, th this isn't really a big bug to be concerned about, because it, it's just kind of a small bug. Um, but here's the thing too. So he'll make th he'll let the Raven dock here with autopilot. But what's funny is the Albatross can't dock there, and it sticks out the same amount. So like I don't get that. But uh, yeah. So uh, let's go ahead. I don't really care. I kind of like this docking spot anyway. So I'm glad our Raven can dock there. Um, he bro the odds of him actually patching this bug probably small because here's the thing you gotta remember I mean why even f a small yeah no I'm gonna call this a feature it's not really a but it's not a problem with the game it's just it looks a bit unrealistic but I don't care because no one ever docks their ships there, and now I have my own docking spot uh, when I play the game. So I'm glad about that. Uh, the only thing is, I'm curious if Autopilot will dock my Cormorant there. Now here's the thing too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, now here's a question too. If I put an Albatross on one of these, will it dock 
I know Albatross won't, but I'm gonna still give it a try. Because if you're docked at this terminal, it'll actually spin over there, I believe. So I think it, we should give it a try. Um, but I will do that off camera because why would I do that on camera? I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on, ship. Drive ship. Alright. Uh, so let's see how the passenger is doing. Um, so the bright side is he, that, that he, that's not even a bug. I, I hope he doesn't fix it uh, and change it back to just here on. Because it's not really a bug. Now, the actually, maybe he intended for the ship to dock there. But even then, did you see that overhang? Uh, okay, we're just going to call it because I know the game's going to crash in. So thank you for watching, and we will see you all later on another Cruise Ship Tycoon video. Peace out.